Hey guys, this week in Art Club with Miss Burford, we're going to make a Starry Night foil picture and print. You'll need either a printed or an electronic resource of Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night picture, a sheet of paper in any colour that you like, foil, paint and cotton buds. The main part of this activity consists of using a cotton bud dipped in paint to draw your own version of Starry Night onto the foil. The only thing is that you are against the clock because it will dry very fast. So with acrylic paint like I'm using here, it took less than 10 minutes to dry. So I, I did this in about 8 minutes and it was just starting to dry then. So you want to work as quick as you can and create swirls and some movement in your picture with your cotton bud. It's quite easy to do, it's much easier than using a paintbrush for younger children. This is a great way to develop fine motor skills. Uh, the cotton bud really helps with that and it also gives the children a chance to explore other materials to use or equipment rather, um, rather than just paintbrushes or finger painting. Cotton buds aren't used very often for painting, so it shakes things up a bit. This is where you have a choice. You can either leave the picture as it is, leave it to dry, and then just trim off the excess foil, or you can move on to the next step and you can create a print from it, which I really love doing. And you can keep the two parts of this piece of art. So if you do decide to go ahead with the print as well, then you're going to need your piece of paper and you're going to place it over your picture very carefully and smooth it over with your hands so that it picks up all the paint. I have found since doing this that actually blue, orange and black paper work better than white paper. Let me peel the paper away from the foil and just be careful not to rip the paper or the foil as they are both thin materials and very fragile and you'll see a lovely mirrored image which has loads of movement and texture in it. I honestly don't know which one I prefer out of the two, so leave a comment in the comments below and let me know if you'd bother doing the print after or just stick to doing the painting on the tin foil. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more art lessons on a Monday and other art related content on a Thursday. See you next week for more art with Miss Burford.